Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I have filmed a look on the new Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm one of the palettes in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault collection. So my first video is the Bling Boss, which is this beautiful palette right here. It's absolutely stunning. So this will be a four video mini series. I'm just showcasing all the palettes and the different looks you can do. There's that many colors in there and you can create different looks, different styles, anything that you like. And you've got matte you've got your shimmers um, and yeah so if you guys want to see how to create this look right here just keep watching and we'll be doing swatches of the colors straight after this before we get into the tutorial so if you guys want to see what the shades look like and how they perform and how to create this beautiful look right here just keep watching to be finally filming with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill um, Vault Collection and the first palette um, that is going to start my little series here is the Bling Boss palette. Now I put a um, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram poll up on my Instagram and it was just this one here so I popped the Ring the Alarm palette and the Bling Boss palette and I Put up which one I should film with first and 81% said the Bling Boss palette which is the one I'm going to be filming with today and 19% said Ring the Alarm so I was really excited because I did want to play with the Bling Boss palette first because it is something a bit different to what you usually see um, so this is the beautiful palette right here so I'll do some swatches of this one first before we apply it um, so this is what it looks like after you take it out of the little vault and then once you open it up that's what the inside looks like it is absolutely stunning the colors in here are so beautiful um, and I love how some of the purple shades have like that sheen and that glitter to it. it's really beautiful um, and this color here is really cool in my name so I'm really excited to be using this one I'm gonna do some swatches so I'm gonna start from the top row and okay guys so the first color is this shade here which is called bling boss let's see how it swatches oh my god that's stunning it's like that foiled rose gold color which is very beautiful and then the next color we do have is a dusty pink color called hush hush which is that one there that's so beautiful that color in the crease would be really really pretty as i'm popping my finger through the palette it's literally so buttery and so creamy the next shallow shallow what is wrong with me the next color is called gem which is this beautiful purple shade it's got a little bit of sparkle in it too which is really really pretty yeah, i'm really excited to see how this one swatches ready guys oh my god how beautiful is that color imagine that all over the lid guys oh heaven the next shade i'm gonna pop on is called pizzazz which is this glitter shade it's like a um deep plum it's actually stunning oh oh look at that pigmentation guys oh my god that is stunning oh my god i did i'm like the worst swatcher guys the last shade on the top row is called mystic which is this deep purple matte this one feels so creamy oh guys look at that pigmentation we'll pop it up the top here oh my god that would be nice in the outer corner just to deepen up the look. So that's the top row of the Bling Boss palette. Alrighty, so on the second row we have the colour called Sparks, which is that beautiful Marlboro red shade. It's so pigmented, guys. Oh, wow. It's like sort of similar to the colour that's in the Life's Drag palette. Um, but it's a little bit more red than the other shade. The next one is called Glitz and Glam, which is so pretty. It's this um, gorgeous sparkly shade. Let's see. <gasps> That's stunning, guys. Look how pretty that is. I mentioned that all over the lid. Oh. And I'm guessing if you spritz these with Fix Plus, they'll be even more foiled. But that's pretty good without any Fix Plus. Next shade we have is called Rockstar, which is my favourite in this whole palette. I'm the most excited about this one. Um, it's a matte purple shade. It is so pretty. Oh, wow. Look at that pigmentation, guys. And I've heard that purple is very hard to make. And looking at this one here, it is absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. I think I'm going to be using that one in this tutorial. 
last shade is called Ballsy, which is a more of a purple glitter shade. Oh my god. <gasps> Stunning. Oh. It's like duochrome, so it's got purple, pink, and like a champagne silver in there too. That is very, very pretty. The last shade is called Berry Treasure, which is a black and purple, which also has some sparkles in it, which is so pretty. Let's try this one. Oh, it's also actually got a bit of green too. Oh my god, if you guys could see this, like up close. Oh wow. Check that out, guys. Oh my god, that's got green, purple, silver, and the black pigment too. That is absolutely stunning. So that is the second row of the Bling Boss palette, and I'm actually in love. Now I'm even more excited to pop these on my eyes. Alright guys, so to start off this look today, I think I am going to start off with the shade called Hush Hush. And I'm just going to pop that colour just through my crease. So I'm just going to take that on my little morphe uh, blending brush oh guys look at that pigmentation i'm so excited i'm just gonna pop that straight through my crease that's quite pretty it's just a soft um dusty pink shade and i think we are going to do a bit of a halo eye today something a bit different i'm gonna pop that right from inner corner to outer corner okay so once you've popped that color through your crease i'm going to pick up a little bit more of a dense blending brush this is my mac 224 in comparison to that morphe one and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to be picking up the shade called sparks and that'll be my first shade that I'm going to pop through my crease as my um, outer transition shade for my halo eye. Actually, before I do this, I'm going to pop a bit of translucent powder just underneath because we don't know how the fallout is. So once I pick that colour up, let's start to slowly work it in the crease. And all the way to inner corner too. So really just take your time with this step because this is your main colour. And so that colour did have a little bit of fallout but it's not too much. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bullet brush. So just so we can pack the colour on. And this is my bullet brush from Morphe R41. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up more of that shade called Sparks. And I'm also going to pick up Rockstar. I'm just going to really pack that onto the brush. Oh my god, this is so pigmented gonna look funny until right at the end so don't worry guys we'll make this work so what you want to do is really map out the shape that you're wanting just kind of like that so you've got your base and then we can blend that out so who else was as excited about this launch as I was oh my god you know what's funny I <laughs> I actually didn't know the day that it did launch. It was so funny the way that it happened. So I had gone to bed and it was a really, really windy night here in Melbourne and I couldn't really sleep. So I was just on my phone, you know, as you do. And then about five minutes later, I had already purchased the whole vault collection. It was not planned. Like I did want it, but I didn't know what day it was launching. Um, it kind of just happened like that. But it actually worked out really well because I, it's like $92 value, I'm pretty sure. And so it was $75 for the first launch day. And then um, after I did that, we also had free shipping and I popped in Jaclyn Hill's um, code. Came down to $67. So it's pretty good, I think, for four palettes that are pretty decent sized pans and very pigmented. Um, so if you guys are wanting to purchase that, I think they are doing a restock very soon. I would definitely get my hands on it because the pigmentation is amazing. You always have a palette that you can just pick up that would have all the shades. Yeah, so I just think, I think it's personally worth it, but it's up to you guys. See, how, the more you blend it, the more shape you're kind of getting. And how the eyes um, take a lot of time to kind of blend just so you get all the colours blended together but it will look weird until the final step so don't stress guys too much really work the outer corners 
so it's nice and seamless. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the colour called Mystic, which is this beautiful shade right here, just to deepen the inner and outer corners. So I'm going to take that on my Morphe M505 blending brush, pick a little bit up and pop it just in the outer and inner corner. Just like that, just so you have your center still free, because that's where we're going to pop one of the shimmers. And I know some people have had some bad experiences with this palette, um, but so far I'm really, really loving it. I'm not having any issues with blending it out whatsoever. So once you've got that, just again, go in and blend, blend, blend. Blending is key, guys. And it's better when you blend to hold your brush right from the outer end, because um, it gives you the least amount of pressure. Um, whereas if you go really, really close, you can't really blend that well. So if you hold it far away, um, it loosens up your wrist, so it's really easy to blend colours out. Okay guys, and the next step is just um, cutting out your kind of crease, but just the centre of the lid. So what I'm going to do is take my Tarte Shape Tape in the colour Light Sand, and we're going to just cut out that centre of the lid, just so we can get a really precise centre, just so we can really focus that colour. I don't even know if I'm making sense today. There's something wrong with my brain. So what I'm going to do, pick some up on a flat concealer brush. And again, take your time with this. So just right in the center. Just really work it in. And just up to the crease line as well. And it's always best not to use too much product because then that's when um, too much layering happens and that's when it's hard to pop colors on top. So that's kind of how we want it guys. And again, it will look funny until we've got the color on. But with halo eyes and even kind of with any eye look, once you get the finished product, that's when it looks good. I feel like the work beforehand, um, you kind of doubt yourself. You go, oh my God, is this gonna work? But trust in yourself. It does come out quite nice. Okay, just like that. So once you've got that on, you're just gonna set that with some powder. So I'm just grabbing a, a flat shader brush with some translucent powder and just set that down. All right, so once you've done that, I'm just gonna go back into my Morphe M505, which picked up the dark shade called Mystic. And just on the inner and outer corners, just really press that on, just where the shadow meets, and blend it together. So I like to use a soft hand, blend it together, where the two colours meet, just so it blends quite nicely. And the same on the inner bit. Centre of the eye should look something like that. Alright. And once we've got that, I'm so excited to pop the lid shade on. Oh my lord. Just have to pick one. Mm, let's see. I'm going to pop all three of the glitters together. Oh my god, they're all so pretty. What do you guys think? I feel like this shade here topped with a bit of that shade. What do you guys think? I think that's a good idea. And guys, with makeup, I feel like it's all about taking risks. Um, like, I feel like, because you can just wipe it away at the end of the day. Um, like it's not going to be there forever, so if you do make a mistake, just wipe it off and do it again. Like I don't, I find that you just got to take risks and it will all work out okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up the colour called Glitz and Glam. It's beautiful, it's got like purple, pink and champagne in it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to see how it looks with my finger. And I'm going to pop this right in the centre where we've popped the concealer. Oh my god, that's so pretty. And guys, yes, I've taken my nails off. Um, I feel like so naked without them, but it's time they had a bit of a break. I've had them on for a few years now, and my nails are quite um, soft, so I'm just going to give it a break for a little bit. Oh my gosh, guys, that's stunning. Then we're just going to go on top with a little bit of the colour called... I actually think I said Bling Boss in the... Um, when I was doing the swatches, it's actually called Bling Bling. <laughs> it's just that one there. I'm just going to pop that right on top. It's a little bit lighter. Just right in the centre. What I'm going to do, go back into the dark shade called um, Mystic. Just that one there. Just on the inner and outer corners, just really work that in again. Just so everything blends together. Oh 
I'm just so excited because also Jaclyn Hill's brush collection also launches very soon. Definitely going to get my hands on that. All right, and then I'm just going to grab my MAC 224. Pulling that out again. So there is a little bit of a fallout. So it's either you pop like translucent powder underneath or you do eyes first. I just want to have my base done so that we can just really focus on the eyes. But I'm really happy with the way that has come out so far. So the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take first Sparks, which is that red colour and Rockstar, just on my bullet brush and just work on my lower lash line on smoking it out. And again, I'm just going to leave a bit of a gap on my lower lash line just to pop the shimmer shade, just to mimic the top. I'm just taking a smaller defined brush with the shade Glitz and Glam, which was the first glitter shade I popped on the top. I'm just going to get some glue ready on my lashes. And while that's just getting a bit tacky, what I'm going to do, as per usual, I'm going to take my Mask Precise Liquid Liner. Just slightly line my upper lashes, just with a very thin line. We don't want to wing because we like the rounded shape of the halo eye. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara, just a little bit, just to prime my lashes for the lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to be going in today, again, are my Manke Glam in the style called Stella. My absolute favourite lashes of all time. <laughs> so I'm just going to put my lashes on and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so my lashes are on and I think they go good with this look because they still have the kind of similar shape to the halo eyes. So they don't wing out that they will change the shape. So it's just like rounded but feathery too and I think they really go with this look because you can still see what's on the top. Um, I'm really, really obsessed with this um, eye look. It is a lot darker than I usually do but I think it looks really pretty with the shades. And what I am going to do, I am going to take my MAC nylon and pop that on my inner corner and my brow bone also just to help lighten it a little bit. And I'm also going to pop some of my nude liner in my waterline. And I just do my brow bone also. And then, so I'm going to go in with some of my nude liner just to lighten it a little bit because I feel like my eyes look quite dark. So just on my waterline, just to open up a little bit and to make my eyes look more like doll-like to match the halo eye on the top. I'm like, I feel like I'm a little bit drunk today. I don't know. So, on, so let's pop some lips on. I'm going to be going in with my NYX lip liner in the colour Natural, which is my go-to nude lip liner. Okay, and then once that is on, I'm going to go in with my Sephora lip stain in 32, and I think I'll see how this looks, and then I'll decide if I want to pop a gloss on top. So guys, that is the completed tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed. And if you did like this video, don't forget to like it down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And press the little bell button if you want to get notified for when I upload next. That would mean a lot to me. Let's get this channel growing. Um, I like to have a little family. So yeah, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and enjoyed the tutorial on the Morphe Jaclyn Hill um, palette, Bling Boss. My thoughts on this palette, it is very pigmented um, and they're very buttery. They blend so well, like you don't even have to use a lot of it. Um, like I just pop a little bit on the brush, really work it in. Um, you don't even have to use a lot of pressure and I found it blended quite nicely. Um, the mattes are very, very pigmented um, and I found they didn't dust away when I was adding more colours on top. They just kept blending and blending um, and the colour stayed true to its um, original pigment. Um, and I think the foiled shades are very beautiful. Um, that is even without any Fix Plus or any um, like sprays or anything. Um, they're very pigmented and they're very um, buttery too. So I didn't need to use a lot of pressure or add anything to make it stand out. Um, you can add like glitter on top if you like, but I really like the way this halo eye came out today. So yeah, I think I really, really like this um, palette. Um, this is one of my favourites. I really love the colours that are in this palette. I think we can do a few more 
tutorials on this with a normal glamour eye as well. And yeah, I'm just excited to play with the Ring the Alarm palette next, which will be my next tutorial in this four video series of the Vault Collection. Um, so I will be doing that one next. Um, so if you have any video suggestions after this series, just let me know in the comments. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.